Well, if you are watching us via Freeview, this is where we're going to leave you for a while. Um, take a break for final score, but we will be back straight after that with a conclusion of this individual apparatus finals day, where you will see British interest in beam and floor. But if you're watching on all of the platforms, then stay with us. Judging, Chris, would you rather be on the difficulty or the execution? Um, probably the execution. The difficulty, you're just adding up what they do. But actually, you sort of add the power, the difficulty, the D-panel, because if they do a move, say, these gymnasts do on beam, a sheet jump, where you're meant to touch your head with your, with your feet. Now, it's you, the two D judges, who decide, did she touch her head? If she does, we'll give it the E, which is worth 0.5. If she didn't, we give it nothing, so it's 0.5 less on her start value. So they have the they have the power. So perhaps I drop one of those. Well, you, actually, you know what? I thought you'd prefer to be in charge, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> if you were deciding whether or not, then surely yeah. that's what you'd do. Yeah, really actually, do. having described it, I think I would. <laughs> well, the Catalina Panor is in this final. She. Uh, score yesterday in the team final your dash as well come over Hannah Wheeler Great Britain will be going in fifth but I think this is going to be quite an exciting final Russia were a little bit shaky yesterday on this piece of apparatus you'd normally put money on them being secure for letting in control but those in acrobatically they were okay but the presentation Chris was shaky well this is where I think if we're going to see a dominance from Romania this is where it will come they've qualified at first and second here in the same way that the russians qualified first and second on bars the romanians did first and second on beam there's definitely different nations that specialize on different apparatus uh, but your dash who qualified first has got a very difficult first tumble she does a backflip into full twist and she came off on that yesterday in the team competition so there'll just be that little seed of doubt in her mind 
we've always thought the Romanians were punchy and determined, but yesterday they had something else on B, didn't they? They had the grace, the elegance, the control, and the dominance of that apparatus to go with it. And I think they'll carry that confidence through into this final. Oh, yes, I think so as well. Here she is, the girl of the moment. Podium from bars. It's the Greek gymnast, Rossi, Yuma Dauphine. Such a shame for her on bars, just gone. Do you want to put that out of her mind? And this beat with power and confidence. Great Britain's Hannah Whelan. Israel. Save the medalist from Bars, Stacey Krishna. But how wonderful it would be to see this girl up on the medal podium. She qualified second. She's brilliant yesterday on B. She's got a long way though. She has. Interestingly, Romanians are first and last, so they can uh, play the tactical game. Interestingly, this draw is done like a few months in advance, really, and they're just literally drawn out of a hat, so the qualification order, they pull out one and say, so the first gymnast will end up going fifth, and that's how it's worked out. So, Larissa Chodash, Romania. Highest qualifier. This is her first senior European Championships. That's a, the highest difficulty qualification. And she was the dominant junior in Europe last year. But this is the important thing this element backflip full twisting tuck back and she's held it little step back but she did very well double spin just a little wobble but those are two very difficult elements under her belt already big high leap with a half turn super free walk over but she's missed the link Little stop there at a bit of dance as she didn't make the link into the backflip. Front somersault into the tuck back. Very positive in all her movements, sharp in the dance work. But she does look just a little bit jittery. You've come to expect almost mechanical execution. And today she looks just a little bit human. Very strong work, lots of difficulty. Here the big dismount. Triple twist out of a round off flip. That was fantastic. What a start to this final. Unbelievable. Triple twist and all the way around. Absolutely square. Lovely work. But she did have the side touching the jitters. She did. But too difficult. I mean, you pointed out the very difficult move to start with, but then that double twist, I mean, that's a tinker as well. Yeah, she's got... Uh, this is incredible, and you can forgive her that pace. That's such a move to full twist. So many come to grief on that. But there were other little areas where she demonstrated she was in control of the tumbling, but just as with the Russians yesterday, some of the linking moves were a little bit nervous, but this was fantastic all the way around. Look at the shoulders. Triple twist. Really very special dismount, that, isn't it? Just incredible. If you cut the bottom half of that screen off, you would have thought she was on the floor. You know, you don't think she's balancing on something that's just 10 centimetres wide. 
Now, she had a start value of 6.7 in qualification, but she missed just a couple of her links. The free walkover normally goes into a backflip and layout, which means she's probably lost 0.2 on um, bonus marks. So it'll be interesting to see what the D score is. As I say, qualification was 6.7. Lovely split, though, in the leaps. She uh, scored the highest all-around score of any of the gymnasts in the team competition, a 60. Three marks ahead of anyone else. So she's a very exciting young prospect. Watch this. Round off, backflip, punch, triple twist. <laughs> there was no doubting that was round, was there, Mitch? Super, really great to watch. She's having a few bandages attached there. That's not for an injury that she's picked up on beam. It's, uh, she's in the floor final next. 15.133, six floor difficulty. So, point three down on qualification, but still one of the highest scores we'll see. Well, can Victoria come over and make the rest? A few ghosts on this piece of apparatus. The Costa, the world all around. Now, will she have the presence? Very solid in the front, Sammy. Pulling hard. Excellent. The two Sammies. Very square, very strong. So this is a great start. And the Arabian. Oh, big battle. She won it. That standing Arabian so difficult. Spin and drifting through it with great control. A little thicker. And another. Really courageous in the sheep. Oh, and look. Almost away. And those nerves haven't gone away, have they? Two flicks. Oh, and a double Arabian, which didn't pay off. A whole mark deduction right at the end. But she was unsettled all the way through. She started really well. I thought really, really positive. The best I've seen her. But it's almost like she sort of lost a bit of concentration after the first two or three lengths. She's a very emotional gymnast. I mean, a lot of kids would, a lot of gymnasts would walk off still with a smile, however bad they feel inside. But she's very, she shows her emotions and sort of shows it during the routine as well, doesn't she? See the wobble after the tuck back. There was no need either. She was on. She just sort of wavered mentally. On the side, somersault the same. She was on, but she just didn't follow the rules and put the arms positively in the right place. Maybe she'd started thinking about the big dismount already, because it is a big dismount, the double flip into double Arabian. Here we go. One, two, up, half turn, double front. It's, that's massive. And it was almost like halfway through she started thinking, gosh, I've got the big dismount and worrying about it. Well, it started with the standing Arabian. The problem started there. That's when she first had to battle. And it finished with the double version. So that's unfortunate. But some fantastic work. She's so stylish, so classy. She, she gets very few deductions for bent legs or anything like that. It literally will just be for wobbles and falls. Thirteen point one, two marks behind Jordash.